So we're going to do rescue fast knots here. Uh, I've already got my casualty hanging off me, so I've done the rescue part. And you might discover that there's damaged rope underneath you. So I've got a bit of tape on each rope to mark the damage. So the first thing I'm going to do is tie an alpine butterfly to isolate the damaged bit of rope. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the damaged rope is as far away from the knot as possible and at least 100 millimeters. So that is going to be too short at the moment. I'll just make it a little longer. Okay, so nice, neatly dressed alpine butterfly, good distance away from the damage. I'm going to do the same on the other one. So we've isolated both bits of damage rope. Now I'm going to descend a short distance. I don't want to go too far because if I get too close to the knot, I might get stuck on it. But I don't want to be too high either because I might not have enough rope to do the rescue. So the technique I'm going to demonstrate here is using a re-angle. So I'm going to take the casualty's hand descender, take all their stuff off it, and I'm going to re-anchor my working rope onto the hand descender which is also on my work. So a carabiner into there. I'm going to tie figure of eight or figuring some kind of anchor knot. I'm going to go with the figure of eight. It uses a little bit less rope. So I'm tying that below the alpine. And I'm going to clip that into the hand descender. Giving me a small re-anchor. So I'm now going to do a rope transfer from the descender I'm on at the moment onto your new one. So I've got the descender that I've taken off casually. I'm going to clip that, as with any transfer, into the same connections that are in the carabine on my original rig. Make sure you don't go through the loop. And I'm going to put the new rig in here. Get it nice and tight. And then I can come off the first one. Now, I'm not going to bother with friction here because my weight's coming on the new one straight away, but we have got a hand ascender in there with teeth, so we're going to try and do it nice and smooth. Don't want to be shock loading anything. And we're going to transfer onto the new rig. And that's us past the knot. So I'm going to need friction on now to descend. And I'll come down until my backup device meets the second knot. So down we go nice and smooth. I'm going to get to this kind of height. I'm going to use my second backup. Take the original one off. And then I can descend to the ground. 